In this part, we are going to discuss about the classifications which comes under the plant kingdom. In the previous class, we discussed about the systems of classification and we came to know that about three different types of classification such as artificial system of classification, natural system of classification and the phylogenetic system of classification. In this class, we shall know into diff how many uh, categories the plant kingdom is divided. The plants are classified into different groups such as algae, algae, bryophytes, algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. The plants are grouped or they are classified into different groups such as algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. This is how the algae are uh, sorry, this is how the plants are categorized and we shall take up one by one. Firstly, we are taking or we are studying about the algae. Algae, these are the plants or the autotropic organisms which are commonly found in the wet or in the aquatic regions. Firstly, the algae are microscopic in nature. The algae are microscopic. As soon as we are mentioning it as microscopic, they are nothing but the unicellular organisms. The algae are unicellular and they are unicellular. Example is Chlamydomonas. We will get many examples here. Before entering into the examples, we shall see some basic characteristics of the algae. The algae are unicellular organisms and they are microscopic in nature. Algae are chlorophyllous. They are chlorophyllous, simple and thalloid in nature and they are autotropic organisms or autotropic species. Means what? Chlorophyllous means these are the living organisms which consist of chlorophyll pigments in them. As soon as they are uh, having naturally the chlorophyll uh, pigments, they are capable of producing or synthesizing their own food and hence they can be called as uh, they are autotropes or autotropic in nature. I repeat, the algae are chlorophyllous and they are simple. Their body nature is not more complicated or they are not much developed because they are the unicellular structures. Algae are simple and thalloid in nature and they are also considered as autotropic. They can be characterized as the autotropic organisms and large number of algae are found in the aquatic medium. Either it may be the freshwater medium or the marine forms. The freshwater aquatic medium is nothing but the ponds, lakes, rivers. Fresh waters are nothing but ponds, lake, rivers, etc. These are the freshwater forms. Even we can also find algae in freshwater medium and marine water form is nothing but 
there we that is in ocean and seas also we can observe ocean sea also we can find the algae so what we can say or what we can conclude here is the algae is found both in aquatic that is fresh water as well as the marine aquatic medium and the plant body of the algae the algae body is thallos or it is thalloid in nature we are using the word thalloid that is something but the body of the algae is called as thallus it is completely flat in nature it is thallus and the algae may be unicellular but they are some are found as in colonial forms some are filamentous form and some are the massive plant body which completely spreads the aquatic medium the first one is colonial forms that means the algae which are living in colony or in group and such type of algae are called as colonial forms example for colonial form of algae is volvox and the second one is filamentous form that means the algae which is in a filament form or in a elongated thin line form and the cells are arranged one next to the other to form a filament and that type of algae are called as filamentous algae the best example is eulopryx and spirogyra these are the examples for the filamentous algae and the third one is massive plant body that is the algae which develops massively rapidly and completely spreads the water upper surface and covers the water body and that is called as massive plant body of algae and the example is kelps these are a kind of these are a kind of algae uh, which grow massively in the aquatic medium and hence they are the massive plant body uh, and can be taken as also as an example for algae and how do the algae reproduces though algae are unicellular they reproduces in all methods that is the algae reproduces by vegetative method asexual method as well as by the sexual type of method the algae reproduces vegetatively asexually as well as sexually and also the sexual type of reproduction in algae not only in algae wherever the sexual reproduction takes place is that we can find the reproduction taking place by the fusion of gametes always the sexual type of reproduction takes place by the fusion of gametes and this uh, sexual type of re reproduction is also found in the algae that is fusion of gametes uh, is also seen in algae and when we observe the fusion of gametes there are different types of uh, fusioning method such as isogamous isogamous means iso the word iso stands for same or similar that means gamous means nothing but fusion of gametes here which type of gametes are fusioning isogametes that means same or similar type of gametes are getting fused with each other and such type of fusion of fusion of fusion of similar similar male and female gametes is called as isogamous isogamous means the fusion of similar male and similar female gametes is called as 
isogamous type of fusion -y. Next one is an isogamous. That means an isogamous means an iso means difference in the structure of the gametes. Here what happens? An isogamous means the fusion of fusion of fusion of fusion of dissimilar fusion of dissimilar dissimilar male and female gametes dissimilar male and female gametes are fused with each other to complete the process of fertilization that we call it as an isogamous an isogamous means the fusion of dissimilar male and female gametes is called as an isogamous type of fusion next comes the oogamous here both the gametes that is The last one is oogamous and here in oogamous what happens the fusion of fusion of fusion of more small small motile male gamete The fusion of small motile male gamete takes place with the non motile large non motile large female female gamete is called as. Oogamous. <clears throat> I'll repeat. Oogamous means the fusion takes place between the small motile male gamete with the large non motile female gamete. The fusion occurs between these two gametes and such type of fusioning is called as oogamous. Here we are using the term small and motile male gamete. Small means here the male gamete is smaller in size compared to the female gamete and also motile means the male gamete is capable of transferring or it is capable of moving from one place to another that is the male gamete small motile male gamete when we speak about the female gamete it is large but non-motile female gamete large Compared to male gamete, the female gamete is larger in its size as well as non-motile. It is not capable of moving or transferring from one place to another. So, during time of fusioning or during time of fertilization, the always the male gametes moves towards the female gamete. It reaches the female gamete and finally the fertilization process will be completed. Now, oogamous means fusion of small motile male gamete with the large non-motile female gamete takes place. This is called as oogamous. We shall repeat. Plants are classified into algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Now we have taken the first one that is algae. The algae are unicellular, microscopic and also they are thalloid in nature and they are microscopic because they are unicellular organisms. And the algae are chlorophyllous, simple, thalloid. Though they are chlorophyllous, we can also use the term they are autotropic in nutrition. And the maximum or large number of algae are found in the aquatic medium 
both in the fresh water as well as the marine water forms. The uh, plant body or the body of the algae are thallus and usually the algae are unicellular and they may live in colonial form or they might be filamentous or they are massive plant body and they reproduces both by the vegetative method, asexual method as well as the sexual type of method. And when we speak about the uh, sexual or asexual method of reproduction, the asexual type of reproduction occurs by the formation of zoospores. The asexual type of reproduction occurs with formation of zoospores and that spores will develop into a new algae. And when we speak about the sexual type of reproduction, the formation and fusion of gametes takes place in the sexual type. Under sexual uh, type, that is under the formation of gametes, there are different types of fusioning of gametes such as isogametes, anisogametes and oogamous. Isogamous means similar type of male and female gametes are fused. Anisogamous means dissimilar type or dissimilar uh, male and female gametes are fused. And here oogamous means a small motile male gamete is fused with the large non-motile female gamete. And finally the uh, fertilization will be done. And this is how they reproduce. These are the basic simple characteristics of the algae. And in next classes, we shall discuss about the different classifications of class, uh, algae based on some of the characteristics.